Our recent warm weather is partly to blame for this site. Wildlife officers tranquilized this 200 pound black bear early Sunday on UT's campus and later released it in Blunt County. TWRA says it's been warm enough to keep bears awake and active when typically they'd be asleep for the winter. WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Athene explains while the bear population is expanding, requirements for bear proof trash cans are lagging behind. It was pretty unusual to get that call. This is normally the off season for baseball and for bears. So this 200 pound sow turning up outside the baseball stadium on UT's campus was truly out of left field. Yeah, by now most bears should have headed to their winter dens and uh, taken a nice long winter's nap by now. But you know the fact that they're showing up in, in downtown Knoxville tells you that the population is expanding and it's just something we should expect to see more of over time. <laughs> TWRA safely released the groggy, tranquilized bear at the Foothills Wildlife Management Area in Blunt County. But this year, wildlife experts have hammered home the results of a GPS study that showed bears cover too much ground to ever relocate them away from people. There is no farther and deeper into the woods. Bears are expanding, and we are behind the curve on our bear proofing. Now we're having bears show up in Nashville. Knoxville. Counties like Knox County and Loudoun County are seeing more and more bears. What we're trying to do is to teach people how to keep bears from being in their backyard. TWRA and several other groups are working to teach people how to make their neighborhoods bear wise, especially in the counties that border the Great Smoky Mountains. But right now, the only place with an actual ordinance that requires bear proof trash cans is in areas inside the city of Gatlinburg. I would love to see the entire county be bear safe. You could bear proof one street. But if your neighbor two streets over is not bear proof, then you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot. Approving any larger ordinance will not be quick or cheap. It'll require a sizable investment for bear proof containers and lots of public conversations. But TWRA says it's a discussion worth having to improve the future safety of a growing population of bears and people in East Tennessee. Yeah, those conversations are being had, and once again, it would be a huge effort to, to pass a, a law on a, a larger scale, um, but it is, a, it is an issue, and it's something that we're certainly looking at. In Knoxville, Jim Athene, WBIR 10 News. Right now in the WBIR app, you can watch the full video of the release of that bear and read the entire post from TWRA catching that bear inside the stadium on UT's campus. Straight ahead at 6 after.